Hello, welcome to Lolly's Garage. Today I'm going to show you how to replace this grommet that goes on the top of the valve cover and into the intake on some of these older VWs. Stay tuned. This grommet sits right here on top of the valve cover and these things often over time get old and fail. As you can see, this one's already all torn off inside. To get started, all that we need to do, we need to be very careful when we work with everything in here because this is older and brittle rubber as well. We just need to pull straight up on this right here, nice and slowly. There we go, it has popped out. Now, just grab this old grommet, slide it out. Try to make sure that we're not losing any pieces inside of our valve cover. So here we have that. Now we need to clean it all down there. To aid the installation, I'm just gonna use a little bit of dielectric grease. What we're gonna do is just grease the inside of the grommet right here so that it can slide in, and then we're gonna grease the outside right here. With it all greased up, now we just need to carefully slide it into place. Here it's key to make sure that it's actually seated well. If not, it'll also continue to leak still. So this little groove needs to be all the way in there. You can use a little screwdriver to aid, but careful not to tear up your grommet. Just a little bit of pushing. Get it started. Finish it off by hand. Now, spin it around. Spinning it makes sure that everything's seated really well. Now we can slide this piece right back on in. All right, there you have it. it took about five minutes and now you replaced the grommet. This grommet is actually important to make sure that's in good working order because mine wasn't. And what was happening is there was air getting sucked in past this grommet into the engine. So that is air that is unmetered because it is entering after the mass airflow sensor. And two, that is unmetered air that is also unfiltered. So that's really not ideal for this engine if when you have unmetered and unfiltered air going in there. Additionally, it was also just leaking a bunch of oil. There we have it. Now the car is going to idle much better. Thanks for watching.